Hello and welcome back. I'm Conan Liberian with Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry, and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite EDC items, writing utensils. Let's take a look. All right, so a couple things before I really get into it. I want to lay out all of these are cheap and accessible. I don't have a Fisher Space Pen because I've never bought one. I know I'm going to lose it. Um, most of what I've got here has really just been collected over time. Some of the stuff you've actually seen in other videos. I just really thought it was time, you know, the holidays come and you need stocking stuffers. And I haven't seen too much about a variety of writing utensils when it comes to EDC. Now, that being said, there are some very good videos out there comparing different pens to a similar pen, but I just wanted to throw out some of my favorite things and why I carry them and in what circumstance. And I think that, you know, everyone out there has a different preference on what they write with, why they write with it, why they carry it, and the science behind it specifically. But I think these are all really good options for a lot of different reasons. We're actually going to start down here. I am not generally a pencil kind of guy, but this is actually just the same pencil broken in half. I will say, whenever I am hiking or doing anything outdoors, I usually have a pen with me. Actually, I always have a pen with me, but I also always have a pencil, because in an outdoor circumstance, you can actually use a pencil for kindling, which is very cool. Uh, it's not as permanent, which may be necessary. It writes on some different surfaces that sometimes pens just don't. I mean, the thing is, a pencil is everywhere. You can get them at, you know, little mini golf course. You pick them up everywhere. Most places give them away free for promos. And a pencil is always easy to write with. If you are someone like me who always carries a knife, you always have a way to sharpen it, too. Having the eraser on there, I always... For me, I can't carry a pencil without an eraser. Because if you're going to write with a pencil... I prefer to be able to erase something instead of just having to cross it off. But pencil is a great option simply because they're cheap, they're easy to get, they're easy to sharpen, and also you know when you're running out of a pencil. I don't necessarily know when I'm running out of ink in one of these other ones until it's just dead. This guy's going to keep getting shorter and shorter until I'm just out. Next up is a mini mechanical pencil. I mean, I personally, if I'm going to use a pencil, I prefer mechanical when it comes down to it. It feels better. It has that little tactile satisfaction. You can always refill it. And it just feels more sturdy than something like this. I, I just like that it's more reusable. This thing came out of some little... Oh, you know what? I have it right here forever ago. Uh, this thing came out of a little tin that I got at the Dollar Tree. This is the survival kit um, I made out of the $1 tin from the Dollar Tree. But I like that it fits in an actual Altoids tin. I mean, that's kind of the big thing when it comes down to all of these. Uh, I have some other favorite pens I like to have, and I'll pick up whatever I need to write. But as far as what I carry in my pocket or have on me in my bag or my sling bag, these are my options that I go with, or, you know, if I have them in a kit or an Altoids tin. So m pencils, mechanical pencils, again, not really for me, but it comes down to sustainability and ease of use and just availability. You're always going to be able to find a pencil. Uh, this thing, uh, this I got in a pack of 12 for $1 at the Dollar Tree like two or three Halloweens ago. This falls in the category of the pen you have is better than the pen you don't. I mean, it still works. It's a pen. And pens anymore, just like pencils, they're everywhere. They're going to be free. You're always going to be able to find a pen. And even though this thing's cheap and kind of junk, uh, I want to say I still have a few of these stashed in just random Altoids tins, just because, yeah, having something with you, even just something small and something throwaway, it is, to me, necessary. There are a few things that I always carry with me. I always carry a knife and or a tool, so sometimes it's just this, or a lot of times it's this, and we'll say... Uh, right now it's been the, uh, Civivi here for a while, just a fantastic knife. I've had a lot of really great use out of this, but, um, a tool, a knife, 
a pen, a flashlight. Uh, I can't leave the house without a pen. So something like this, I know I've got them just in my truck. A random pen, even if it's junk, is absolutely worth having just as a backup. Getting into my favorite stuff here. So this guy, everyone, I would say is fairly familiar with this, and if you haven't seen it before, this is the Olight O-Pen Mini. And these are just absolutely fantastic pens. They are tough, uh, they're comfortable, they write super great at any angle. Uh, I've My favorite one was a blue one that I put through the wash, I will say. Uh, I don't know what the actual scientific testing is, but these only survive about three trips through the wash before the ink cartridge explodes. But uh, it's just a super comfortable, durable, really good pen. The only problem I have with these O pens is that they are proprietary ink cartridges. Now, most of these are going to be, but when you really get into EDC pens and small stuff, it, it really seems like there's a lot of proprietary stuff. Now, again, you could find hours and hours and hundreds and thousands of videos about pens and inks and refills. But what I will say is, I don't know the science behind all that, but I really like this mini pen because it's tough uh, working in automotive and being around just grease and dirt and at my desk or in a shop or hands-on with junk all day. This is just a nice, tough pen to have. This aluminum body, uh, I've literally run over it before. Not this one, my old one, but this is my newer one, and this is just a great pen. So the O-Pen Mini... Absolutely worth checking out, absolutely worth picking up if you want a good, solid, hard pen that's going to last and still feel comfortable and have that fidget factor without breaking the bank, which is really nice, this bolt action. Uh, up next, this one is probably one of the... I've carried one of these since before I really even got into EDC. Uh, this is the Night Eyes Inca. And the reason I love this pen is because it is one of the few pens where you can have this held on a key ring or on your belt or a keychain, whatever it is. And it deploys from the bottom and you're not going to lose it. It's got this gasket that keeps it in. Now, the one thing is it is blue. And again, it comes down to personal preference on that. But the other thing I really like about this, now it takes a little bit of construction or deconstruction, but you could take the whole thing off of the key ring And you can turn this into a full-size pen, which I think is really cool to have that super kind of tactical option, but also to be able to have something that's really comfortable and full-size. Uh, plus, you'll notice here, it does not come standard with this. This is, I think, two, maybe even three feet of uh, Gorilla Tape that I've got wrapped around this. This actually rides on my keychain or all my car keys with me every day. And I can't tell you how often that's come just come in use. And that's kind of one of my big things about this pen is that even though it may not anymore these days be the first pen that I reach for, it is a pen that if I'm out and about, I absolutely have it on me because if I'm out and about, I always have my car keys with me. And I never have to worry about this pen getting lost because there's no pressure on this. Nothing is hanging on this that would even cause it to come out. And having something that, you know, it wasn't necessarily designed for this, but to so conveniently have another tool with me is just really nice. So the Night Eyes Inca, a fantastic pen, even if you're not into blue ink, just the utility and reliability of it is fantastic. Uh, up next, this guy. So this is the Zebra F301, and actually... This pen was sent to me by Richard over at True Budget EDC, who uh, has bashed me for a long time for liking pocket pens. And I will talk more about these, but uh, he sent me this. He said this was superior. This is one of his favorite carries. It has all sorts of fantastic features. And I have been carrying this for a while, and I will say... After having carried this, well, he sent it to me quite a while ago. In fact, Rich, I'm sorry it took me so long to uh, do this review. Um, but I will say, after having carried this for so long, this pen is absolutely fantastic. I like the feel of it. I like the weight of it. I like the sleek design. So unlike some other pens, while yes, it clicks closed down in here, 
It just relies on, while there is a small rubber gasket here, more or less just pressure to keep it in. And while that may not seem super secure, and I was kind of worried about it at first, this is a pen that you can absolutely just plop down and pick up and use all day. And then when you don't need a full-size pen or you want to take it with you, slips into a pocket or clips on. I will say, this clip on this thing is awesome. Just uh, wearing this, I usually have it in one of my side pockets. Just a fantastic, easy carry and really sturdy. Surprisingly, I wasn't, again, too sure how it would hold up, but I've been carrying this one specifically since he sent it to me, and it has not failed. It has not pulled apart in my pocket. That was the other thing I was worried about, is that because it carries what, tip down, I guess, I was really worried that at some point it would come out, like if I bashed it while in my pocket, that it would get forced out. But it has never fallen out in my pocket. A um, little side note too, you could put a lanyard through there if you really wanted to, like keep it on, I guess, around your neck or whatever. So just a neat little feature. But the Zebra F301, absolutely worth picking up because the other thing too, compared to these other ones, it actually looks like a nice pen if you're trying to be, you know, you don't want to have to take this thing apart like James Bond to assemble a pen. You want something bigger. Uh, it's just a great pen to pick up. Great feel. Fantastic writing on this, too. A nice fine point, but still really nice and reliable. So, definitely a great pen. Uh, this guy. I absolutely love pocket pens. Now, I've done a couple videos on them. And in the past, they actually sent me some stuff, which, again, thank you, Paca. Um, but this is the right in the rain. This is probably my most carried pocket pen, and there's a lot of different types. Uh, I'll have links for all of these and even for uh, the specific website, but this is the right in the rain pocket. And this is the my uh, this is the pen that I always have with me. Uh, regardless, if I leave the house, just like I carry my car keys, this guy goes with me just because it is so comfortable. It's so light, and honestly. I like it. It's bright. Uh, again, you can get a lot of different colors. There are a lot of different themes and accessories on this. I just actually glued uh, an old pen clip to this one so I could carry it clipped easier. Uh, but they have their own accessories. A Right in the Rain is really fantastic. Now, I want to say, too, technically I want to say this Inca, uh, this Night Eyes Inca is supposedly, I don't know if it's Right in the Rain or waterproof. I think it's cold temperature resistant. What I will say is I've actually written with this under running water and it still works, which is nice. This does the same. That's the big benefit of writing the rain is it will write on wet surfaces or if it's been, you know, underwater, that sort of thing, which just adds a really nice kind of outdoorsy EDC. But even if you're not a fan or if you don't care about that, if you're not going to be writing in the rain, the way that these just slip in your pocket is super nice. I actually just picked this up as of right now. I want to say they're still available. It's the Paca Pen Survival Kit. It's got two Right in the Rain notepads, a couple. I don't know if these are the Right in the Rain pens, but two Right in the Rain notepads, a uh, little nice tin, and a couple pens. And you know, if you've watched anything, how much I like my tins. So Paca makes cool stuff. Another note, too. Paca is made in America, which there are a lot of products out there. I know it's kind of a personal preference thing, but it's nice to be able to support a company, a made in America product every once in a while. Not to say that there aren't great products, obviously, coming in from outside of America, but it's nice to be able to also support something that is fully American made. So Paca, pick these up. They're fantastic. Uh, this guy, this is something I think everyone should carry. I have these on my work keys. They're in my sling. I've got one or two in my truck. Just a little Sharpie that what I really like has this clip on top. So I can remove, well, now I need to, there we go. You can remove the whole thing from the clip. Or if you're like me and I'm at work and I use Sharpie all the time, I have to. I deal with a lot of greasy surfaces or plastic bags and things I need to write on, or cardboard boxes, I need something tougher. <clears throat> Having a Sharpie absolutely is super convenient, and for a long time I carried a full-size Sharpie, and that's a pain in the ass, and when I found these, 
Uh, I couldn't be happier. I don't generally carry them clipped in my pants just because I don't want this accidentally coming out, you know, in my pocket. However, one of these has been clipped for, uh, it's been a while on my work keys that I've used every day since I picked them up, I want to say at least six or eight months ago. <clears throat> and they're just a fantastic product. It's a great, I mean, I think everyone knows what a Sharpie is and how useful it is. But I don't know that everyone knows that they make mini ones that can hang off your keychain. So pick these up too. Awesome to have. Awesome as a stocking stuffer. And those are really what it comes down to. This one, just kind of a bonus one. If you are someone that owns a Swiss Army knife, one of these larger ones, the 91 mil, I recommend get a set of plus scales. You can get them on Etsy. You can get them on eBay. I don't know about Amazon. But... Your plus scale kit usually comes with a pen. Uh, this is another one uh, at this point, the banana, I don't leave the house without it. Uh, but to have a pen, again, accessible and always there is really nice. On this one, the Tinker Deluxe, or any of them, they say with the hook, you can put the pen down in there. And then you've actually got a way to hold it a little bit easier which is pretty great. A lot of them, actually, Victorinox knives, some of them have them built in, so they're just integrated as is, which is pretty cool. I personally recommend, when it comes down to it, and this may be a personal preference thing, but have multiple ways to carry pens or things to write with, and when you look around, there's absolutely a thousand other options. What I have here barely scratches the surface of writing utensils but it's the ones I have that honestly really cover the spectrum for me and take care of any situation I am I'm in is actually a sentence so uh what I'd love to hear that uh first off thank you for watching thank you for checking this out um tell me what your favorite EDC pen or pencil or writing utensil is I want to know what's out there again the Fisher space pen is out there and I don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money for one but what else is out there let me know drop a comment thank you for interacting and um like i said i'll have links to everything here i probably don't i yeah you know what i'll even link a box of number two pencils just in case so as always thank you so much and stay safe be prepared and have a great day